Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my introduction to animation with Blender 3D. In this tutorial, we're going to look at creating... Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take this cube and I'm actually going to move it off camera right down here. And we're going to have it go all the way up over here and rotate along the way. And we're going to learn basically the most simplest way of animating. Okay, so down here, by default, you have the animation timeline. And we'll leave it at 1. All right, now, whenever you want to animate anything inside of Blender, which, by the way, there's a lot of stuff in Blender that's animatable. So it can get pretty big and complex over time. But to bring up the animation, or rather the keyframe, you hit I, and then you're you have all these options. What we're going to do for this particular tutorial, all we are going to do is use lock rot, which stands for location and rotation, as you can see up here. Um, if you wanted to, you could also scale it. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and scale it. So make sure down here at the bottom, you have frame one selected. And we'll use lock rot scale. All right. And then we will set it to 250. And then we will move it up to right here. All right. And we're going to give it some kind of random rotation. And we're going to scale it up twice. All right. Now make sure we're at 250 again. And lock rot scale. Now I'm going to actually move our camera way back so we can see all of it at once. And that if we set it to 1. All right, and then hit Alt-A. You will see that Blender will automatically interpolate. And, sorry, I actually paused it. And as you can see, our cube is rotating slowly and also growing as well. Okay, so since this is our very first tutorial, now let's figure, uh, sorry, our very first introduction at animated side of Blender. Let's look at how we would export this out. Now there are multiple ways to do this, but the first one, I'm going to dump the, right here, I'm gonna dump the output, output to my desktop. Now you could, dump, you could dump each frame out as say a JPEG, and then you could put it together and then render it out, but I just prefer to use AVI RAW, mostly because this is a 10 second animation and this will work just fine. And then you just click the animate button and it will do one frame at a time until you hit frame 250. Now we're not going to sit here and watch this, but that concludes this tutorial. In this tutorial, we learned how to use keyframes inside of Blender and our very first look at animating. And we also created and rotated and moved a cube. All right, so if you have any questions, uh, stop by the forums. As well, you can also hop on the IRC. Check the description for a link to both. And if you'd also like, please uh, follow me on Twitter. And you can keep up to date with like when a new tutorial is coming out and so forth. All right, thank you.